I'm Basil, I'm a treecologist, and we are approaching fall, which means that trees will begin going dormant. So I wanna give you a list of things that you should think about doing or think about hiring somebody to do as we move into the dormant season. The most important thing right now is feed your soil. If you take care of the soil, the soil will take care of your trees. Think about what nature does this time of the year, at least here in this part of the world. Leaves are falling from the trees. Those leaves are landing on the ground, they're decomposing, they're feeding everything that lives in the soil. And those things that live in the soil are what provide the nutrients and the other health benefits for your trees. So how can you recreate what's happening in nature? Well, first, just leave the leaves. If you don't want them in your grass, fine. Blow them into your beds, blow them underneath your trees, underneath your shrubs and your flower beds. You want those leaves to rot and feed the biology in your soil. Compost is another great option. You can make your own, you can buy it. Another way you can recreate what happens naturally is putting down thick beds of wood chips or mulches. Finally, this is a good time for fertilizers, but not your traditional fertilizers that you're buying off the shelf in stores. We don't want the excessive nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. We want fertilizers that build soil biology. So if I can give you the key phrase to remember here, it's build soil biology. The dormant season is also a great time to do certain kinds of pruning. So for example, if you wanna do a structural pruning on a young tree, which might require that you cut quite a few branches, this is the time to do that sort of pruning. I recommend that you do all of your planting during the dormant season, especially for trees and shrubs. This is the best time to plant. You can plant other times of the year, but it's gonna take a lot more watering and care and establishment's gonna be more challenging. So if you wanna get trees in the ground and you wanna get shrubs in the ground, this is a great time to do it. The good news for dormant season is you don't have to worry very much about pests. They're mostly inactive. The only thing I do recommend is there are a certain set of pests for which we should apply some oil in the wintertime. I always recommend having a professional inspect your trees and shrubs at least once during the dormant season. If possible, it should actually be once during fall, winter, spring, and summer, but at a minimum, one inspection in dormant season, one inspection in growing season will suffice. Finally, as trichologists, we look at the entire ecology of your trees and your property. We're not looking just the individual organism. So this is a great time of the year to do things that help foster the overall health of the system in which your tree participates. So for example, things that um, allow pollinators to overwinter or birds to roost or bats to roost or provide a place for an owl to live. All of these things will create a more healthy ecosystem. We've just scratched the surface today on all these topics, but we've written articles, we've got checklists, we've got all kinds of stuff for you to use. We'll link it all below. Let me know if you have any questions and enjoy the upcoming dormant season. I'm gonna talk about soup. <laughs> I know I want soup. I've been wanting soup since yesterday. Favorite soup? Yeah. There's so many good soups. How do you choose a favorite soup? <laughs> I think a really, really high quality, just standard um, vegetable soup done well is just phenomenal. Like good chicken stock, all the stuff is like CSA vegetables, really good meats that have been stewed for a while. That's just one of my favorite. No, there's not enough soup for that. <laughs>